What's going on there, YouTube, and welcome back to another comic book video. Okay, so we are actually going to continue our coverage over the character known as Spawn. And the reason why, because I feel like when it comes to different YouTubers, no one really sits down and tries to explain the complete storyline for Spawn. In most cases, they just tackle different main points or different points they like about Spawn, and that is it. And so I want to kind of sit down and see how this goes for us as we cover a lot of more things that most YouTubers don't cover when it comes to the character of Spawn. Now, we cover the original origin for Spawn, Spawn number one through four, a couple years ago. And so I want to continue from that point right there. Now, today's video is only going to cover one single issue, but it's a way for us to still continue our coverage over the character of Spawn. And so we do pick up with Spawn number five, better known as Justice. Now, this is Spawn really going after a certain character and this character is a serial killer but a serial killer who went around and killed children now with that being said though when it comes to spawn for our channel we're going to have a video every single sunday we're going to call it spawn sundays from here on out so every sunday expect a spawn video one or possibly two either way let's go ahead and dive into today's video and so getting into today's video, we actually do pick up with a character known as Billy Kincaid. Now, when it comes to Billy Kincaid, he's actually the serial killer I was talking about earlier that Spawn is going to go after here in this book right here. And the reason why, because Billy Kincaid was locked up and originally he was supposed to be taken away to prison for 22 years but because of good behavior and also serving at least eight years of his time he was able to get out in just 10 years and so when we actually jump into this book is him right now being released but of course being told what he has to do after being released from prison like for example you have to stay away from children because you were someone who had killed off a bunch of children but we believe that you are technically a better person now because the time you served here in prison and so they let him go now sam and twitch are actually there as well now when it comes to sam and twitch remember they're just two cops they're partners but when it comes to sam he was one of the cops who actually locked up billy and so to see him right now being released he hates the idea because this guy is a serial killer he killed off a bunch of children and apparently he did so bad to one child they had a hard time identifying the child. And so for Sam, he hates the idea that Billy is being released, but unfortunately is out of his control. And Billy is released back into the world. Now, we actually do see the news right now reporting about the release of Billy Kincaid. Now, at first, you do have the reporters kind of give us the details about Billy, which honestly is everything I already told you about Billy. The fact that he was a serial killer, he killed off a bunch of kids, and he was supposed to be in jail for 22 years, but got out in 10. Either way, it's still a way for us to see the news kind of give us more information about Billy, more of a background, but we don't need that background for this story. But at the same time, I like this page because you're still able to have people call into the news to express how they feel about the idea of Billy being released from prison, this well-known kid serial killer. Now you do have the book quickly remind us about Wanda and of course when it comes to Wanda you do have her right now putting her child to sleep. Now while she's putting her child to sleep this is a reminder that Wanda was the wife of Spawn when he was still alive. Now she does not play a huge role in this storyline it's more kind of like she plays as a motivation role for Spawn to go after Billy Kincaid and you see what I mean as we go through this book. But then we jump over to Sam and Twitch. Now, this is a way for us to really see that Sam is still bothered about the idea that Billy Kincaid was able to get out of prison. Someone who should stay locked up forever because he is a well-known serial killer. And so this is Sam saying, listen, Twitch, I know that we're technically not higher up in the police rank, but I still want to technically stick out Billy's house 
to make sure that he does actually follow the law that he does not go out there and find kids and kill the kids and so we are going to stake out his house every single night after midnight to make sure this man follows the law and if he breaks the law we'll be right there to arrest him and throw him right back into prison and so that is the moment where we actually jump over to a homeless group now the reason why because we actually pick up with a police officer taking his car and driving his car right through the area that homeless people use to technically sleep at night. And so when that happens, the police officer technically runs over one of the homeless people and of course killing him. Now the officer does not care. He continues on because to him, the homeless people are technically in the wrong for technically being homeless, but also being in the way. And so he just leaves and you have the homeless people get upset about the idea that one of their own was just killed off by a police officer. A police officer is supposed to be out there protecting the people. And here he is right now killing someone because they're homeless and doesn't even care. And so he moves on. And so you have these people get very upset and they find a newspaper. Now, when they do find this newspaper, it's talking about the release of Billy Kincaid. And of course, they're saying, how is it fair that a homeless person gets killed off and no one blinks an eye, but this serial killer who killed off a bunch of children was able to get out on good behavior? Now, of course, when they say Billy's name, Spawn overhears this conversation and Spawn actually remembers Billy Kincaid. And so that is the moment where we kind of find out that apparently Spawn knew Billy. And the reason why, because before Spawn had died, he was still known as Al Simmons. He was hired to actually kill off Billy. He was offered $1 million. Now, the night Spawn was actually going to do it, that was the moment Billy got arrested. Now, Al said he remembers seeing Billy get arrested. And here was the crazy part. When he saw Billy getting arrested, Billy did not look sad at all. Matter of fact, Billy was smiling and it seemed to spawn that billy thought that he was still winning that he was not losing at all even though he got arrested now that was the moment you have spawn tell us that apparently when it came to billy's case there was so much evidence it was an easy case to say he should be locked up they even found a warehouse that had so many different dead bodies and unfortunately, the dead bodies were cut up so bad, they had a hard time identifying the bodies, but the warehouse belonged to Billy Kincaid. And so it was a closed case just like that. The problem was though, evidence began to disappear left and right. All the types of evidence they had to lock up Billy just went away. And the big question was how? How in the world is all the evidence you need right now just disappear like that? And we come to find out that apparently it all disappeared because of one particular person. And that person was Jason Wynn. Now, Jason Wynn was mentioned in our first video because he was the boss of Al Simmons. But we're kind of left to believe that Jason Wynn did have something to do with the death of Al Simmons. Either way, apparently Jason Wynn kind of had help to make all the evidence disappear when it came to Billy Kincaid. And so even though he still got locked up, they couldn't technically lock him up for life because a lot of evidence just disappeared and what they had was not just enough to lock him away forever, but because Jason Wynn had some of the evidence just disappear. And so you do have Spawn decide that something must be done when it comes to Billy because Billy is still a killer no matter what. Yes, he may went to prison, but this man still could have the ability to go out there and kill again. And let's not forget, he was a child killer. And so this is Spawn saying, I'm trying to think of Wanda because right now Wanda, the person who used to be his wife, has a child. Now Spawn has no idea if this child belongs to him or her new husband, but either way, he is thinking of Wanda and her child. And Billy could possibly come after her child down the road. And so it's Bond saying, I must deal with him now because if I don't, he might kill off Wanda's child later on. 
And so this is Bond saying, I am going after him tonight. And he does. Now, when he does, let's not forget, Sam and Twitch were technically outside sticking out the house of Billy Kincaid to make sure that he actually follows the law. Except they do see Spawn go inside. Except when they do get inside to confront Spawn and also Billy Kincaid, they both had disappeared. And so to Sam and Twitch, this stakeout is a failure and they begin to go back to the police department. Now, when Sam and Twitch get back to the police department and trying to figure out where in the world Billy Kincaid went to or what exactly happened to Billy Kincaid, when they get back to the police department and in their office, well, that is the moment they find Billy Kincaid. Spawn had killed off Billy Kincaid and hung his body in the middle of the police department to say that, yeah, I killed him. Now, guys, remember, Sam and Twitch have no idea about Spawn. Either way, right now, they're finding a dead body in their office at the police department. And yes, it is Billy Kincaid, but it's kind of like who did it for them. Either way, this is where we're going to end today's comic book video. So please leave me a like down below and subscribe. But guys, I'll see y'all next. Next video, sorry. I'll see y'all in the next video. Later, y'all.